guys welcome back to my channel it's me me and monet and i'm back with another video so today we are just doing this quick weave on curly d hair boutique hair um it's, this is after i put heat on it i've washed it like twice it, it's pretty nice like quality 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 um i'm just gonna show you guys how to put it together how to run your leave out how to put on the quick weave and then we will go from there got a colorful aura like a goddamn uh -huh. gut why you let me hurt you so bad so starting with our foundation, I have my sister braid me down. You don't have to get a braid down if you want to do two plaits or two little slick buns. Depending on how much hair you have, just lay your hair as flat as possible and you can begin. So I started off with my wig cap. I put it on my head, cut holes in the ear so they can lay as flat as possible. Then I took a red lipstick because I can see red on black. I took a red lipstick and carved out all the areas that are going to be left out because I don't want to put the goop on top of the area that will be left out girls it will be stuck to my head so I'm just carving that out with my red lipstick again don't want to put that goop on top of your leave out or else it's gonna everything's gonna be ruined so here I'm just showing you what's all gonna be left out I am leaving out this little area in the back um, so yeah, here's the goop. I'm putting it in a bowl using a little uh, coloring brush and I'm putting the goop on all the areas that are not traced. Easy. I'm painting this over my entire head. I did like three, four coats. Um, this stuff is gonna stick to your hair so, you're, so your cap is not gonna slide or anything. You just cannot get it wet. So put this all over your head and do not start placing your tracks on until this is completely dry. You'll notice that the sun will be up in my, when I start putting the, the hair on, it's because I slept in this and um, waited for it to be completely dry. As you can see, it's the next morning and we're about to place the hair, the bundles on my head. We're using three bundles of Burmese curly hair, 18 and then two 20s from D Hair Boutique. I'm just showing you the weft, the weft, the wefts. I am just putting the glue on my weft and I placed it right on the red line that I indicate to my leave out above the ears. I didn't want to take it all the way up because that means that hair is going to be in my face and I would probably end up cutting it. I don't want to cut a bunch of this hair because it is expensive and beautiful and nice. So place your hair where it makes sense. If you know you don't like hair in your face, you don't want to put, place the hair all the way around because that hair will land in your face. Don't just move on. You need to press that glue onto that scalp basically to make sure it is intact and secure so basically we're doing the same thing all over the head we're just i measure out the web to where it's going to land and then i'll cut it and then i'll take the glue and i will place it on my head nice and simple the first two tracks i did not take all the way up but after that after the hair is not going to land on my face anymore i went ahead and took it all the way up to the red line as you can see so because it is a quick weave, you are going to be cutting your wefts. Um, if you don't like to cut your wefts, you probably should not do a quick weave. You're going to measure, cut, place all around. I'm showing you how flat it is. I believe this was just one bundle. I started on my second bundle right as I turn around. Um, you don't need three, but I like to have my hair full because it's my head and I can do what I want. So yeah, just place that hair. It's, it's so easy. Just place it, secure it, and move on. I put my tracks close together because I know I, I knew I wanted to use all three bundles. You can spread it out because the hair is pretty voluminous. You don't have to put it right on top of each other, but I wanted to because again, I wanted to use all of my bundles. So I'm just measuring out the hair onto my head to see where it's gonna lay, cutting it out and placing it. Once again, it's the same thing. It's very, very um, repetitive. At the top of my head, I kind of just placed the um, webs going straight across. Um, I don't know why I did this. I really had no rhyme or reason, but I actually like how it came out. So yeah, you can do, like I did them straight across and then I started to do like little C's around the red perimeter and it came out nicely, it laid nicely. I don't know why I did that, but that's what I did. Yeah. 
I've placed all the hair where it needs to go. Now I'm just cutting the cap so I can reveal my leave out and get working with that. So yeah, take your time, cut your cap. Do not cut your hair, take your time, girl. Do not be in a rush. I know you wanna see how it's gonna look at the end, but if you have no hair to reveal, you won't look nice at all. Take your time, because I was rushing. Um, I got a little bit of the goop on my leave out. Remember I told you do not do that. It was not a lot, so it was easy to pull off, but that was just my experience. Do not get the goop on your hair. Try your hardest. So go ahead and release all of your hair, all of your leave out so we can see how it's gonna lay. And then we will go ahead and part out our hair, how we want it to, you know, how we're gonna wear it. I thought I left enough hair out to do like a flip over or like a versatile, but I did not. So I had to do a middle part, which is my signature anyway, which is fine. But I didn't like how the hair looks like it just looked like, I didn't like how it looked like Debbie Thornberry. So I went ahead and cut some, not layers, but just some shape into it that made sense for my face. That's optional. I know a lot of people are like, I don't want to cut my bundles. I want it to look as natural as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a little trim. Not much, but you know, you'll see. So I'm not cutting it blunt. If you can see, I'm holding my shears at an angle and I'm sliding the scissors down while I just kind of open and close them. You don't want the hair to be blunt. You want it to be cut at an angle. Anytime you're cutting curly hair, you don't need it to be blunt. It's not gonna look nice blunt. You have to cut it at an angle as you can see what I'm doing here. I didn't really cut much. What I was really doing was rounding out the hair, rounding out the cut. As you can see from the left and the right side, the difference is one side looks very, very rectangular and boxy, and the other side looks round and, and nice. When it comes to curly hair, you wanna give it that round, plump look. I don't want it to look like a plank. The other side of my hair looks like a plank. So I'm gonna make it look nice and round. Is it The rounder it is, the more natural it looks and the more realistic it looks. I want it to give very much growing from my scalp, I want to give black girl with this hair. I, you know, I, that's what I want to get, baby. So yeah, cut it up. Again, we're just taking our shears and slide cutting the hair, as you can see. You see how it's not just going, in, like, you know what I mean? I'm sliding down the hair as I pull it from the bottom and cutting. I don't want it to be blunt. I don't want it to look crazy. I've had enough uh, experience with cutting hair to know how to do this. I went to school and I've messed up plenty of wigs, so you're in safe hands. Trial and error, for sure. So nice and easy, nice and cut, everything looks nice. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. The leave out was hard for me to do, which is why I went to Miami, came back and refilmed the leave out part. So as you can, as you see in the next couple clips, I'm going to be wearing a totally different outfit, totally different lighting. The lighting sucks, but I wanted to not leave you guys with like no, in, no uh, instruction on how I blended my leave out. So in the next clip, this one, I'm showing you how I blended the leave out. Uh, the hair had just been washed in this clip, so it's a little bit flatter than the previous clip. But anyway, I'm using my Extreme Hair Gel and a little bit of water. I'm spraying my leave out. I do have heat damage, so it's not matching the curls completely, but I can get away with what it's looking like. So then I'm using this Kerastase treatment. It's like a pre-shampoo treatment. I like how heavy it is, so I'm using it on my hair. My real hair. The more treatment I can get on this real hair, the better. Now I'm going ahead with a little bit of water and the extreme gel and placing it all over my hair just so it can get, you know, heavy. I need some heavy stuff on my hair. Gel is heavy. So I'm scrunching that into the hair until it makes sense. Um, I do need to cut my, you know, trim my hair a little bit, which is why I have straight ends. But that's just going to happen because I have not transitioned to my hair. So, yeah, I am blow drying it now. If you have a diffuser, this would be the perfect time to use it. And these are our final results. This is what it's looking like once it's dry. Um, I really, really like it. It is close enough to my natural curl pattern that people are like, is that your hair? And I'm like, at the top it is. Um, I really, really like it. If you like it, let me know. If you want more hair videos, also let me know. I'm here for you. All right, you guys, I'll see you in the next one. Love you.
बाय